A technology that actually sees through walls invented <laughs> by a student at the University of Utah seems to be just about ready for prime time. It's moved from classrooms and laboratories to the marketplace with the first of what could be a fascinating array of commercial products. John Hollenhorst has the story. We first told you about Joey Wilson's PhD project yeah. two years ago, a crude experimental network of transmitter receivers. They tracked people inside by analyzing disturbances of the radio waves. Now, the first commercial product is ready to be plugged in. Wilson's company, Zandam, even has its first customer, a penthouse owner in Dubai. We're ready to generate revenue. Do I think we've solved the problems that we want to solve? Not, not even close. Uh, we're, we're at the tip of the iceberg on what this technology can do. Transceiver units can be hidden behind a couch, closed up in a kitchen cabinet, even inside walls. When connected to a standard alarm unit, well, if either of us moves, this, it's, the alarm's going to sound. You see that? It didn't take much. Didn't take much. It's an entirely new kind of motion detector. It can detect burglars, or in this case, company intern Sam Skidmore. Wilson says it has big advantages over the infrared detectors on the market now. They're very prone to false alarms because they're sensitive to heat. A big advantage is that the detectors can see right through walls. There are no detectors in this bathroom, but a little bit of movement sets it off. Burglar detection is just the beginning. Wilson envisions a system that tracks people and can send out email. You can do things like have crowd alerts or, you know, if you're going out of town and you're leaving your kids home, you know, sorry teenagers, you, you can actually get alert, alerted that there's a crowd in your house. But Wilson is looking far beyond home application. A SWAT team or a military uh, unit could show up at a place and put these devices around the house and be able to locate where people are on the inside. Now that Wilson has finished up his PhD, his student project could be going places. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News. <laughs> Wilson gives much of the credit to his Ph.D. advisor, Professor Neil Petuari, the University of Utah's part owner of Wilson's company, and will share in any profits. Don't move.